so hello everyone so today i am going to discuss about the basic formalism of vector r in physics so so what are the vectors so vectors are the quantities that have both magnitude and direction in order to describe a vector you must specify both its length and direction so let's say you have a vector here that is a let's say its length is let's say 5 meter and it is directed in this direction the first thing is if you do the parallel transition let's say like you have another vector which is of same length 5 meter and which is directed parallelly in the same direction like this then these two vectors are not different they are same because the length are same and they are directed in the same direction but if you have a vector a which has length 5 meter and another vector is of length let's say 3 meter and it is directed parallel in the same direction then these two vectors are not same let's say this is vector b because their length are different similarly if you have a vector a which has length 5 meter and a vector b which has also a length of 5 meter but directed in a different direction then also these two vectors are not same so for the vector for two vector a and b to be equal the length and both direction should be in uh, the direction should be in same direction and the length should be same then only we can say this two vectors are same now let's define the unit vector let's say you have a vector of length a and the length of is is uh, noted as follows this is just a notation the length of is is mod a if the e it has length d then d we denote by mod a and if we define a vector a cap like a by mod a then what is the length of this a cap vector that is the what is the mod of a cap that is basically this mod a the if you this is this is uh, this mod is already a scalar if you take another mod this will give you the same scalar that is mod mod of a this mod so if you take the mod of this you will get the same number so the numerator numerator cancels out and you will get one so so what is the so this length of a cap is one and but a cap the direction of a cap is in the same direction of a so that's why the a cap has length of one so so that is unity so this a cap is referred to as unit vector now so now let's discuss the few algebra 
of vectors so if we multiply a vector a by a positive scalar that is let's say p so this will give you a extended a like this p times a will give you the new vector of length let's say uh, of new vector b which has directed in the same direction as a but the length is modified because mod of b is b times mod of a if you take the mod of b that b you can pull outside the mod because it's just a number so this thing so its length is extended via this relation now if b is minus 1 let's say then what is the small b is minus 1 this capital b is minus a but if you take the mod of b you will get mod of a so b has same length or as a but its direction is reversed because b is minus a so if a is directed in this direction p will be directed in the opposite direction with the same length now what is the how do we add two vectors the first uh, law to add two vector is the basics triangle law like if you have a vector a and another vector b like this in if we uh, the if you if you want to get the resultant vector or uh, after addition of a and b you need to complete that triangle first so let's first complete the triangle then the resultant vector if the direction of a is here direction of b is here the resultant vector will be directed in this direction let's say it is c so c is a plus b this is the one way to add a vector another easy way to add who is basically comes from this role is the parallel parallelogram law so if you have vector a and if you have another vector b and if you compl complete the parallelogram by a and b then this side is basically same as this side and this is directed this side is directed in the same direction as this side so this is basically b similarly this side is basically a vector because this is directed in the same direction as a and has same length now i'll prove this first so the resultant vector of a and b a and b is basically the diagonal it is directed along the diagonal of the parallelogram let's say this is c so the the, the c has the limbs c has, c has the same length as the diagonal of the parallelogram and is directed along this direction of diagonal so how do we prove this from this triangular formula triangular approach
so this is already a we know and this is already b we know and if we apply this triangular formalism here you will easily get easily you can easily check that c is a plus b so this law comes directly from the triangular law so that's why if you have vector a and a vector b so so the easiest way to get the resultant is to complete the parallelogram by a and b here and here then the diagonal along the diagonal you you, you have the resultant a and b now the next thing is how do we subtract two vectors so let's say you have a vector a and you have a vector b now you want to subtract b from a so how do you get the resultant of this so the only first thing comes to your mind when you want to subtract a vector is basically you need to add a and a vector c where c is minus b now how do you obtain the negative of that vector so the simple way to obtain the negative of b is you just need to extend that line here and the direction is reversed but the back uh, this this magnitude and that magnitude will be same you need to extend extend in such a way such that this magnitude and that magnitude is same but the direction is reversed then this basically this vector is minus b that is c now you need to obtain the resultant of a and c so how do you obtain this so in order to obtain the resultant of a and c a plus c you just need to complete the parallelogram by a and c like here then the resultant of this will be along this direction the length of the diagonal will be the magnitude and the direction is along the diagonal here so so if you have vector a and b the resultant is resultant of a plus b the a plus b will be directed along this direction and a minus b will be directed along this direction so this is the idea hmm now so so this angle is not right angle by the way it's not right angle this can be generally any angle the uh, result uh, the angle between a plus b and a minus b can be anything no now now uh, we'll describe a uh, few laws as uh, obeyed by the vector uh, the first law is the commutative law that is a plus b is same as b plus a this is the 
commutative law. Second law is associative law that is A plus B plus C same as A plus B plus C and if you have two scalar like C small c and small d if you multiply this by a this is same as cd multiplied with a these two are the associative law another thing another law is distributive law that is where this C and D that are basically scalars that are that belong to the real space small c and small d the first distributed law is sorry small c plus d times the a vector is C A plus D A the second distributed law is C times small c times a vector plus another vector b vector is c times a vector plus sorry c times b vector so these are the geometry uh, this all law can be proved geometrically uh, by applying the same uh, addition formalism addition parallelogram uh, formalism or the triangular formalism whatever i have already shown so i will give you basically one proof that you can prove the remaining uh, easily so the first proof is so you need to prove the commutative law so that is if you have a vector a and a vector b sorry if you complete the diagonal uh, complete the parallelogram now so what is a plus b a plus b is is this now you already know this 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 vector is also a vector because these are the opposite sides of parallelogram so they are same they, they, they have same magnitude and and they are direction are also same in the same thing in the same similar approach this side is B so now what is the resultant of A and B that A is directed here and B is directed here. So what is what is the resultant of that? Now in the other words uh, okay so you need to think uh, like that if this is A and this is B from this triangle this triangle what is the resultant of A and B? this this a and b this is basically this side with this direction like this is basically b plus a right so but with this this and this they both defines that 
diagonal vector of the parallelogram so in this way we can prove a plus b is same as b plus a so this is the proof now uh, you can prove the remaining with the same formula with the parallelogram and triangular formalism So in the next lecture, we will discuss about the uh, the multiplication of vector that is used in physics. That are basically will define the dot product and cos product. Uh, see you in the next lecture.